My mom played, of all things, the accordion and the piano. So when I was five years old, my parents bought this little organ, you know, an electronic organ, and I watched my mom play. And I was looking at it, and I was listening, and I figured out the song that she played at five. So I started playing piano and keyboards at five years old. Then I realized uh, around the age 10, the music I liked didn't have piano in it. You know, I'm listening, I'm hearing these crunching, distortion guitars. So I said, well, piano can't be the instrument that I really want to play uh, for the rest of my life. It's got to be guitar. So really, that that's it. When it was rock music originally that started me on the path of guitar. I, I studied jazz at first. Uh, you know, I had a teacher that showed me jazz and, you know, I play jazz songs and the audience would be, oh yeah. Then I played a rock song and everybody's like, yeah. So I thought rock metal is the way to go. And I enjoy it. I was at a music show called NAM, and I had the guitarist Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine come up to me and say, thank you, Mike. And I go, what? And he, I, I didn't even realize this was Thomas Morello, the guy that I gave, you know, lesson to when I was still in school. And, you know, he said it was a musical epiphany and the things that I wrote off for him, he gave to other guitar students. But I think that's one of the most fulfilling things I've ever heard is when you get another really famous guitarist saying thank you for teaching them. Yeah, I met Joey when uh, Nitro was playing and uh, we, we hit it off. You know, we, you know, because Nitro was in, in some ways similar, you know, I, I can't, there's nobody like Manowar, so I'm not saying that, but you know, we just, we took a position. That's the main thing. We took a position, we took a stand, and we said, this is what we do, and we're gonna kill that. <laughs> and I think that's the, you know, we're, we're the basis of it. I think Joey got in touch with you during the pandemic when right. Evie, who lives in Brazil and was playing uh, with the band, couldn't mm. travel and we needed someone to record uh, studio music. And I think that's when he got in touch with you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't even, you know, because I wasn't tech, you know, I was hired to play, I didn't even hear the music. So I came here, charted, charted out a couple of songs and realized right away this is, you know, and plus I'm very familiar with the Man of War catalog. So I, I didn't know what to expect with new music, but I had at least something, a reference. Mm -hmm.